Alright guys, uh, just a short one today on the Magma Grey, um, the steering wheel, the little arms with the silver plastic covers on, on the grey one they were a bit shabby, so I didn't really want to um, paint them, so I sent them off and they had them wrapped, um, quite expensive, but these are unwrapped, so Let's see what they look like once they're on. Um, the steering wheel is quite bare. It's connected to the battery for the... Uh... Right guys, here it is bare, basically. So what I've got to do is remove this. Um, you can take them off with leaving this on. But to put them on, you have to remove this. So I'm going to remove this and install these, put this back on, and then I will show you what it looks like. I'll see you soon. All right, guys, there's the finished product. Um, it was all right to do. We had to take the steering wheel completely off and do it indoors because obviously these have to match up underneath and clip. And then obviously straight forward, putting the steering wheel back and putting the horn and the cruise control connectors back with the wires. But it's quite a straightforward job, but you must remember to disconnect the battery because of the airbag. But um, I personally think it looks a lot better. I'd like to hear your comments, but it was quite expensive to do this with the VAT was 120 pound, which is a lot of money today, but hey ho, I thought I'd do it, and um, I'm pleased that I've done it, because I think it does set it off. It would, it's better like this than having it sprayed. You know, I just think it's a better finish personally, but hey ho, that's me, but yeah. If you like it, thumbs up, and uh, if you've got any comments, please send me them, and I I look forward to hearing what you have to say about the finished article. Um, we replaced the heater control because the one that was on there was all misty. So we had a spare one, so we replaced that. But to replace that, all this had to come out. The cage and everything, because the screws are from the back inwards. Not a hard job, but it's a job that you think, why didn't fools just put the three screws at the front, unscrew it, pop it out, put the new one in. But no, you have to take all this out to re-undo three screws. All the side skirts, everything has to come out. Um, but yeah, but that's on, because the one before, every time I put the ignition on, the heater come on. And as I said, the LED screen was all misty. But now it's not misty and when I turn the ignition on it doesn't come on unless I press it to come on as it should be so yeah so that's that um, other than that guys there's not really much been happening the infrared is still in the garage untouched um, I haven't had a phone call from the guy but what I think I'll do is I'll ring him on Monday to see what's happening just in case he's forgot about me uh, the old saying, out of sight, out of mind. So what I'll do on Monday, I'll give him a ring and uh, hopefully I'll know a bit more about having the infrared sandblasted because once that's sandblasted, then obviously I can go forward, get all the fabrication work done and then start painting and doing all the preparation and start putting it back together. So yeah. But this one now is just same old thing, waiting on the boot, the uh, front bumper. Once the front bumper's on, then I can put the front wheels on, the liners on, MOT it, and then this one I, I can start using. So yes, guys, that's all today. So keep safe, be lucky, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.